Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, or Plant Dust Woman, and you may be wondering where the heck are we? Well, today we are in my bathroom because I am dyeing my hair, as I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail or the title. Yes, we are going baby pink. Um, this video is going to be all over the place, but I figured I had to film it because it's a wild step. We gotta do it, right? And I thought some of you guys would want to see it. If you were here strictly for plant content, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This one will not have any plants in it. I do have a fake skindapsis in my bathroom though. So look how cute slash gross, right? Ooh, it was before I was into plants. Okay. Um, yeah, this video is not plant related. So if you are here just for plants, just, just, just skip this one. Just jump on to the next one. There will be more plant related content coming soon. I promise. And I still love you. We're all good. Without further ado, let's get into me dyeing my hair. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this is going to be like I said, all over the place, but let's just touch on a couple things really fast. Number one, you may be wondering, why is your hair short? Well, I have extensions. I don't know if you guys don't know that, but I have hair extensions. My hair is short. Um, it was up to here not long ago, so it's actually grown a lot. I chopped it all the way off. Um, loved it, but sometimes I get extensions. I'm known for that. I like to change my look up a lot, as you can tell by me dyeing my hair pink. So... Here we are. So I'm going to dye my actual hair and then I also am going to dye my extensions. Um, probably just like on the counter. So I'll switch it up and let you guys see that. These are Bellamy hair extensions. I can link them down below. I love this brand. I've used many brands, but these are great. They are super thick and healthy. I'm sure you can see that. Um, okay. The product that we're using today is Arctic Fox. I have dyed my hair like every color <laughs> of the rainbow. I love dyeing my hair and I love Arctic Fox. It is a awesome brand. It's vegan, cruelty free. Um, this one is Frosé. It's the baby baby pink. That's the one we're going to be using today. I also have a little bit of virgin pink, which is their darker, brighter pink. I might add a drop. I don't think I'm going to today, but I bought it just in case. And I'm winded. I'm talking fast. Sorry, guys. Um, Frosé is known for being super light and you really should have a level 10 color on your hair, meaning a little bit lighter than mine. I have kind of a golden blonde, so we're going to see how it turns out. I think it's going to be fine. I'm wanting like a light wash of pink anyways, but we'll see how it turns out. I figure if I do it this time and I want it to be a little bit darker next time, then I'll just dye it again with a little bit more pink in it. So, all right, I have literally one clip. I also had a hair dye brush, but I left it in the car and it is like 30 degrees outside and pouring rain. So I'm not going outside. <laughs> I have gloves though, so I'm just going to use my hands. It's fine. Don't do as I do. Don't, what is it? Don't do as I say. Do as I do, except opposite. Do as I say, not what I do. Whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got some gloves here. These are the ones that Sally's had. They're not what I normally use, but they will work. And I just have like an old like takeout container. I don't know. I always save these and use them for other stuff. So I'm going to squirt out the, I hated that. I'm sorry. I'm going to squeeze out the <laughs> hair dye into this and I'll show you guys the color. So one moment. Okay, you guys. So I went ahead and put an entire bottle in here. I think I'm going to use two or three bottles. We will see how many we get through. I used to use two full bottles. But my extensions are a lot longer now, so I'm, I got three just in case. <laughs> you can keep this closed. That's why it's in a dark container up in your cabinet. So it's fine. If I don't use it all, I'll use it next time. But let's just get into this. I don't know. Um, my hair is disgusting. <laughs> if you're wondering, it looks gross. I wasn't going to wash it just to put hair dye on it and wash it again. I know you probably should, but I have always done it while it's dirty and it's fine. Let me take my rings off really fast. But yeah, I left that brush outside, like I said, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. Sorry, sorry any hairstylist that's watching. The th good thing about this hair dye though is that it is a uh, color depositing conditioner, so it's not gonna damage your hair. There's just color in it, it's going on top. It's not lightening or lifting your hair in any way, so that's good. And also, you don't have to do it in any certain way. As long as you really make sure to get every single strand of hair super saturated, it's gonna look fine. Now, this product is thick, um, so you do have to really work it through the hair, I've noticed. Sometimes I've gone over like a piece like this, and I've gone over it, and then I realize that inside of it isn't completely saturated, so that's what I mean by saturated. Okay, I'm gonna brush my hair really fast. Also, 
I know a lot of people when they dye their hair start at the roots and work down, but this is not going to take to my dark roots anyway. So I'm going to start underneath and work my way up just so it's a little bit easier for me. And I am going to get going. I'm going to fast forward this. You'll see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and I don't think you need to watch it the whole time. So there's my dog barking. Scared of the rain. I told you. Let's go. my dog sounds really frantic so I'm done with my hair I'm gonna go check on her for a moment I might let her in here because she's freaking out I'm sure you can hear and then I'm gonna do my extensions so I'll be right back okay guys I'm back <laughs> I've got the girls in here if you hear them panting excessively she's just really really scared about the thunderstorm and I wanted to finish this video I obviously am in the middle of it so I can't not finish it but I wanted to bring her in with me because she will relax <laughs> if she's around me it's okay Lou is anybody else's dogs really afraid of storms like mine? She's like <laughs> pacing back and forth, panting. It's all right. Here she is, up on the counter. Stella, can you say hi to YouTube? <laughs> she wants water out of my sink right now, just so y'all know. Does anyone else's animals do this? Like what is wrong with her? Hang on, let me move some things, okay? Y'all have some patience with mommy for a minute? Just for a minute? Here. She drinks out of my sink. I'm not, you can't make this up. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, let sister have some. You don't want it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. What? I'm trying to get my hair pink, mommy. I'm a level 10. I'm a level 10 blonde. Water? Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to my life, y'all. I should have never taught her to drink out of the sink when she was a puppy. Now it's like her favorite thing to do. These noises are probably so triggering for you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, enough of the girls. <laughs> um, yeah, so hair is done. Also, don't worry about my shirt. I have dyed my hair. <laughs> Ma'am, please. <laughs> Anyways, don't worry about. This is why I don't film at home, just so y'all know. Um, anyways, don't worry about my shirt. I have dyed my hair in blue and red and orange and every other color in this exact shirt and it all washes out fine. Please? You please stop? Sit down, please. Sit. Sit down, please. Okay. Okay. Nova is really... 
a mama's girl and like wants to just be in my lap sometimes. So this is my life. I know. Ugh. I hope that you guys can relate to having dogs that are really scared of thunderstorms because that's where I'm at right now. I'm sorry if this is annoying you or you're not a dog person. <sighs> Welcome to my life. Okay, so now I'm gonna mute you guys because they're being obnoxious and I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and dye my extensions and play some music and let them calm down. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> So just cleaning up, cleaning up um, my granite so it doesn't stain. I will say I have used much more pigmented colors, uh, pigmented colors from Arctic Fox, and I've gotten it off my counters and stuff. So I'm not worried about this baby pink. I don't think it's going to stain at all. Um, yeah, and normally if I'm using more pigmented dye, I would take a baby wipe and like wipe my neck and like wipe my face and my forehead. But I'm not worried about this color. It's going to be fine. I've used like royal blue and gotten it off. So it'll be fine. Um, I'm going to give this a little bit more time. You need to let it set like 30 minutes or so. And then I will be back. Are you guys ready to see the final look? Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> here is the finished result. What do you guys think? Um, the lighting here is pretty yellow, so it's looking a little bit more peachy than it is in person, but it is a peachy baby pink. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Some pieces definitely took lighter and some pieces definitely took more pink but I really like how it turned out I'm really happy with it I hope that you guys like it too let me know if you don't that's okay <laughs> I love it if you guys would like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and let me know down below what you guys want to see next if you liked seeing things that were not planty related or if you want me to get back to the foliage that's fine too just let me know and I will see you guys next time I hope you guys have a really safe safe new year's it's new year's eve right now and I hope that you guys have a wonderful 2021. <laughs> Bye.